So the Python interpreter shell is actually an interactive environment for Python. So if you notice, when you're in a console window or terminal, you can enter commands. And uh, these commands, the next time you enter it, a new prompt will pop back up. It's not like you're writing a file that contains a lot of commands and running it like we do with Python um, in this course. But what we can do is when we're in our terminal or command prompt, we can type Python 3. And this also works on just like normal terminal windows. So I can say Python 3 and hit enter. And so here we actually have a Python shell. And so what this is, is instead of writing files here, you can do quick and dirty testing to just test things. You're not going to do any important work here. There's, you're not going to be scripting anything. You're not going to be saving real files here. This is mainly for testing. So for example, maybe you said, oh, I just learned about this new print function and it prints text to the console. Let me just try it out real quick without having to choose the file name and save it and go open VS code. You can just open up your terminal, type Python 3, and go in here and just say print hello world and do something, and it'll print it on the next line. And so these three arrows here, what these do is that just tells you that uh, you can type there. So whenever you see those angle brackets, that means you can type. In here, we can write, you know, we can write any, pretty much any Python code. We can do a for loop for x in range 10. And then it goes here. We have to actually hit tab to indent. And we can just say print high. And we can exit it again. And here we get high, 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 high over and over 10 times. This is a very, very quick way to just test anything you're doing. You're not going to actually use this for anything in production, but it's very useful. The way to exit this is, as you know, most commands you do control C, but that's not how it works. You get the error keyboard interrupt. So you'll actually type the function exit and then it'll exit for us. What that does is, right, instead of having to click new file, tutorial.py, and then save your file, and then start writing stuff in it, and then saving it and running it, you can just do the quick testing in there. And so that's just a quick way to test things. It's just a Python shell. You said Python 3, you're in it, you can do anything. And you can import modules, so import random. You can say print random.randint 0 to 100. And we get 22, do it again, 93. And in situations like this in the terminal, if you ever want to enter the most recent command, click the up arrow key. And you can hit it as many times, and it'll tell you all of the things that you have typed before. And so we can keep generating random numbers over and over and over. So this isn't meant for complex programs, but it is used for testing, and it's a very, very nice tool for testing.